Good day, Martin Weidemann here from Tune of Ministries. Um, I hope it is going well with you. Um, I'm speaking on the gates, the 12 gates of the New Jerusalem, which we know is the bride, the wife, or the church that shines their light. It is the people that have the glory of God. It is not the denomination. It is not the organization. It is true men of God that shines truly God's glory, even like unto Jasper, um, Revelation 21. And today I'm going to speak to you about the, 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 the fifth gate, the fifth son. The gates had uh, names of the 12 tribes of Israel, and the fifth one was the fifth son. It is the uh, Zebulon, the brother, the fifth brother, um, and the son of Jacob or Israel. Um, so Zebulon uh, meaning habitation. The name of Zebulon means habitation is a place to stay. Now if you're going to read Genesis 49 and you see that uh, Jacob said that um, Zebulon, they will go and stay at the sea and they will dwell there. Habitation, his name is Habitation. And he will become a haven unto ships. So um, if you go to my previous videos, you will see that you are the habitation of God. You are the dwelling place, the abode of God, the house of God, the sanctuary of God, the temple of God. So you are also the habitation. But very important about this gate, it is in the other side of the city is the glory of God. And you need to enter into this gate and experience God's awesomeness. And this gate's name means habitation. So, uh, first let me read to you Jeremiah 7 verse 1. Jeremiah, Old Testament prophet, Thy word came, the, the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house, and proclaim there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all you of Judah, who enter into the gates, who enter into the gates to worship the Lord. This is the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. I meant your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. I meant your ways. So this gate's name, Zebulon, means habitation. I meant your way, and I will cause you to to dwell in this place. Which place? In the secret place of God. In the other side. Where the glory of God shines. In the city. That is the dwelling place. So God wants us to be a habitation. To dwell in the presence of God. It is very important. And to enter through that gate. Means it's going to cost you time. To go into this gate and spend time in the presence of God. Being a habitation of God's presence. And feeling and experience God's glory in that sight. But then he will be a haven to men. I believe that the church is not truly a haven to ships. According to Genesis. Where... Zebulon will become a, a haven to ships or to people. Why? Because they do not dwell. They do not have a habitation in the dwelling place of God. So it's very important to experience God. First of all, the first gate, you must, you must behold the sun. Second, you must have an ear to hear what the Spirit of God is saying to enter through the gate. The third one, you must be in agreement or intertwined with God. The fourth one, you must praise God, Judah. You must be a true worshiper and praise God with hands extended on high. And then the fifth one, Zebulon, you must understand that you are not one alone. 
God is in house, a habitation, and you must stay with Him. You must come into the dwelling place of God in His presence and stay there before you can be truly a haven or a ship for ships or men. I believe the church are not enough in the presence of God. That's why we are not truly haven to people. So the fifth gate to enter in the bride or enter into God's glory or into the new Jerusalem is to understand that God wants you to be a habitation for His presence and He is a habitation for you to indwell. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.